We have a hurricane on our hands. What's going on, guys? I'm certified meteorologist Jonathan Kegis. In this video, we are, of course, going to spend a lot of time on Tammy, which is now a hurricane. It is going to impact parts of the Northeast Caribbean as a hurricane. We're going to have the latest track, latest timing, and then, of course, forecast, wind speed, rainfall, all of that stuff coming up in this video. Towards the end of this video, there is another area of interest that the Hurricane Center has highlighted. On the other side of the Caribbean, we're going to talk about where that's going and who could see some impacts from that again closer to the end of the video. So stick around for that full tropical update at the end before we get into this video if you do want to stay updated on the rest of tammy the weather in general across the world especially toward the americas and the caribbean you have to hit subscribe please do that if you happen to find this content helpful please give it a thumbs up it really does help us out a lot also post in the comments where you're tuning in from i would love to know uh where you're watching this from if you have any questions of course post that in the comments as well Latest satellite. There's 11 o'clock advisory on Tammy. Shows this much healthier than where it's been. Of course, we now have a hurricane. That's what you would expect. Something to be organizing and strengthening. Pressure down to 992 millibars. Lower the pressure, the stronger the storm. Higher the wind speeds. I'm going to show you a hurricane model coming up. And a lot of these hurricane models are not handling the intensity, the initial intensity well. We always talk about it if you've been hanging out with us for a good bit of time. Garbage in, garbage out. So if the model is not really catching on to how strong the storm is right now, it's not going to know how strong it's going to be in the future. But nonetheless, here, of course, are the Leeward Islands, Windward Islands. And we have Tammy continuing to move in that direction to the west northwest at about seven miles an hour here is the latest track from the national hurricane center again this is the 11 o'clock advisory and again everybody in the northeast caribbean especially in the leeward islands needs to be on guard needs to be getting their preparations in order but certainly the highest opportunity the biggest impacts from tammy look like they're going to be coming towards antigua and barbuda over the next couple of days as we get into friday night and especially during the day on saturday certainly we are still in the cone so again a landfall is not out of the question in guadalupe into St. Martin, into St. Kitts and Nevis as well. So we're going to be watching that for you guys. I do, I do think we will have some impacts in terms of outer bands in Puerto Rico and in the Virgin Islands, both British and U.S., but I think the biggest impacts, again, are going to be closer to the islands uh, to your east, again, with specifically the biggest impacts coming on Antigua in, in Barbuda. Anguilla, we're also under the gun for this. We are still in the cone, again, Impacts are always outside the cone, so I want to make sure that everybody is clear on that, but the potential for the highest impacts are in the cone. Okay, so I just want to make sure that everybody understands that, and that's again for Anguilla, that's certainly for Antigua and Barbuda. I want to show you some of the latest spaghetti models now, and then we're going to go over some high-resolution models so that I can show you the timeline coming into the islands here. So here we go. There's 11 o'clock on your Tuesday morning. We do have good agreement here, and this is exactly why the cone is like it is. We do have some reliable mo models coming towards the St. Martin Anguilla area um, over the next day or so. Most of them, though, kind of hidden under here are... Antigua and Barbuda under those lines we have that tight grouping of models tight grouping of lines there kind of covering us up but that gives us high confidence that again the center of this storm is going to be either over you or very very close to you sometime on Saturday and we're going to go over that timeline as well Guadalupe we're going to be really close as well I do think think while it's going to be nasty at times on the island and we could pick up two to four inches of rain, maybe even closer to six in isolated amounts. I think the worst of the weather is going to stay off of the island. Still, though, it's going to be kind of an ugly Friday night and into uh, early Saturday morning. Same for us in Dominica. And then as you get into Martinique, the further southwest you go, gets a little better, but still kind of uh, nasty outer bands spinning on through uh, the storm over the next 48 hours. All right, so now I want to take you on this timeline and i think this high resolution future radar if you will really kind of shows what's going on so here is barbados here is dominica here is guadalupe here is martinique watch what happens again this the strongest of the weather is going to be on the eastern side so it's eastern loaded the darker oranges and reds and darker reds indicate the really really heavy rain the lighter rain represents where we're going to have some 
of the lighter weather. But notice how you saw that flare up coming through here, really through a lot of the Leeward Islands and Northern Windward Islands. We are still going to have some nasty outer bands at times. So the potential for tornadoes are going to be there. The potential for strong tropical storm force gusts and those stronger thunderstorms embedded in the outer band. So again, even though the center is not coming towards Dominica, into Martinique, into Guadeloupe, we're talking about nasty weather still coming our way. Now, where we do have the potential for the center to come through is Antigua in Barbuda. So it is really, really close here as we get towards Saturday afternoon through the evening. Still looks like the heaviest rain is going to stay eastern loaded on this system. And then eventually it pulls away by the first part of Sunday. So there is Sunday at 4 o'clock. Notice we do have a strengthening hurricane. The good news is by this point, though, even though we've already had a nasty 36 to 48 hours in parts of the Leeward Islands, it's going to be at its strongest as it is pulling away for the islands. Again, I'm not saying to let your guard down by any means like that. We're going to be dealing with a hurricane on Friday night into Saturday, but it's going to get even stronger as it pulls away from the islands. Note this thing here. These are some of the outer bands that are going to be spiraling through. So while we are not going to take the center, while we're not going to have a landfall in Puerto Rico or the Virgin Islands, we are still going to get these nasty outer bands at times through the weekend, potentially, again, bringing severe weather very, very heavy rain and the potential for those tropical storm force wind gusts embedded in those strong, stronger thunderstorms that slides on through. I want to show you this graphic. This is one of my favorites to kind of illustrate who's going to see the worst in terms of the wind impact. We call it the tropical egg forecast here because it kind of looks like an egg the way that the wind field is sometimes. So what I want to point out here is the yellow color on the screen is tropical storm force winds. The orange color on the screen is higher end tropical storm force winds, greater than 58 miles an hour. And then once you see that red color show up, that's where we're talking about the potential for hurricane force winds. So I want to zoom you closer in here, and this is going to be Saturday early in the morning. So this is going to be on October 21st after midnight. We're talking about Guadalupe. Dominica, we're going to be close to these tropical storm force winds. May have some tropical storm force gusts, but certainly on the eastern end of Guadalupe. That's where we're going to be talking about the potential for tropical storm force winds. Now, we start to get into after lunchtime on Saturday. Pa pausing this at 4 o'clock, and you see here we go with Antigua, Barbuda. We are very, very close to the center. Again, the worst side of the storm is the eastern side. That orange, again, represents greater than 50 mile per hour winds. And then that red represents hurricane force. So you see there, we are right in the thick of that on the eastern end of Antigua and then Barbuda, we could have a landfall of Tammy as we move into Saturday afternoon. So again, while things are going to be kind of ugly for us in the all of the Leeward Islands, we have the potential for the worst impacts, again, on Antigua and Barbuda. Also not out of the question for the worst is going to be uh, St. Martin, Anguilla, because there's still that wiggle room if Tammy would bounce or not turn fast enough. St. Kitts and Nevis were also in that yellow circle that I drew there for the potential for a landfall. It's on the lower end of probabilities, but it's not zero. Again, the current egg anyway that I have out to kind of highlight the wind speeds does not really include you guys. We could have some tropical storm force winds uh, sustained in St. Martin and Anguilla on the eastern side of the island. By Sunday, this is all said and done. We do still have outer bands coming through the U.S. Virgin Islands and parts of the Leeward Islands in Puerto Rico. Still, though, the worst of that is going to be over by Sunday. In terms of the rain, I want to show you the model forecast here, and I want to caution something. It doesn't look that impressive, okay? In the Leeward Islands here, we could have anywhere from four to eight inches of rain. Again, models typically underdo tropical moisture. So again, I'm showing you this just to kind of highlight who's going to see the heaviest of the heavy, but kind of multiply that times three or four. So we're looking at a widespread four to eight inches of rain uh, on the northern Windward Islands into the Leeward Islands, more like two to four inches of rain into Barbados and parts of the middle to northern Leeward Islands, Puerto Rico. We could be looking at a widespread two to four inches of rain. Same for the Virgin Islands on the eastern side of Puerto Rico. The further west you are of San Juan, 
on the western side of the island, the lower rain chances you're going to have. But again, some of those nasty outer bands working their way on. Same kind of deal here. I do think the models are struggling with how strong Tammy is right now because it still does not have impressive winds. That's why I wanted to show you the egg. That is the official forecast there from the National Hurricane Center. There's lunchtime. This is where we're going to have our strongest winds. But I just showed you we had the potential for landfall and in, a, in Barbuda. And the wind speeds here on the model forecast are just not reflecting that. I really think the opportunity is going to be there uh, for that in Antigua and Barbuda. So I think wind speeds or wind gusts are going to be on the order of 70, 80, maybe even 90 miles an hour. Again, there's not a lot of friction to kind of stop the wind. We're, of course, an island right on the water. So that's what we're going to be watching for. So again, you've got to be prepared for hurricane force wind gusts on Saturday. Saturday is going to be the ugliest weather day here of the bunch as Tammy moves further north. Again, if you have any questions, uh, please post that in the comments. I know I'm kind of throwing out a lot. There's a lot of islands, and I want to make sure that I get every island that I can uh, in there to kind of talk about the impact. So please hit me up in the comments if we have any questions or something's unclear, or if I mispronounce something. I apologize if I, if I did that as well. On to the Western Caribbean. This little blob here popped up yesterday we've been talking about this for a couple of weeks that we're going to really focus on the western caribbean for additional development of course we've had invest 94l which is now tammy for the last week or so just kind of slowly going across the atlantic so that was already there here's this area where we're going to see this unsettled weather right on through central america and western south america kind of flare up over the next couple of days it's a low shot right now we'll see if that goes up a little bit but we do have model guidance suggesting that we are going to get something. This is the European ensembles, of course. This cluster way up here, that is all Tammy. And then this could be something else developing in the Western Caribbean by the middle part of next week. And that's exactly the time frame we laid out there uh, two or three weeks ago for possible development. That's all because of that Madden-Julian oscillation that enhanced... Uh, that blob of convection, if you will, of thunderstorms that circumnavigates the globe that enhances things a little bit. And we're seeing that right pop up there with all those L's. So again, at least there's some ensemble support that we are going to be getting in on at least a lot of thunderstorms around. And that is what's reflected here. I do think this one stays in the Central America area, maybe as far north as Belize or the Yucatan. I think thunderstorms certainly slide up the way, but in terms of something getting organized and then lifting towards the United States, I don't think that's going to happen with this one. I think it's going to stay far enough low, but unfortunately, that means some significant impacts for us. At the very least, very, very heavy rain. You see Costa Rica and San Jose, four, five, six inches of rain through the middle part of next week, and we could even get more. Again, models underdo tropical moisture as we get, and this is only through Wednesday, and we're going to be dealing with unsettled weather through the end of next week. Uh, you see towards Nicaragua, Honduras, anywhere from two to four inches of rain widespread, one to three inches for Belize, parts of the Yucatan Peninsula as well, and then uh, in towards Panama, look at that, one to three inches of rain. So it's going to be unsettled, it's going to be stormy, and then we're going to have the potential for tropical development as i kind of got carried away here i did forgot uh, forget to show you i said to stick around towards the end of the video for the tropical update but here is uh one of the hurricane models for tammy as i kind of bounce back to tammy um this is the h mon this is one of the one of the good ones it eventually will be phased out by some of the the newer models that are running for the first time operationally this hurricane season from the hurricane center but you kind of see exactly what i'm talking about here here is guadalupe it's it kind of goes towards the islands here but then here is the center 985 millibar so stronger than where it is now this is going to be at about 9 10 o'clock in the morning we have the center of this thing that eye wall the strongest part of the storm getting close to antigua and then again the HMON has this forecasting the center going right over Barbuda. So again, it's going to be a really ugly Saturday uh, for Antigua and Barbuda. Hurricane conditions are likely for us. They're not impossible in St. Martin and St. Kitts and Nevis, but they are much, much lower than where they, than where they are just to the east of us in Antigua and Barbuda. The other interesting thing here, I'm showing you the h bomb because it's doing very well. At least it's doing the best with handling the, pr the current pressure of Tammy. The h Wharf and some of the newer, or the I should say that the Hafs A, one of the newer hurricane models, 
it's very the pressure is very high on it. I think by about ten or twelve millibars. So it's not catching on that Tammy is as strong as it is. So that's why I don't I don't think that's going to come into fruition with a weaker storm there. I think we are looking at hurricane conditions on Antigua and Barbuda on Saturday, October twenty first. So again, please be safe if you're watching anywhere from the Leeward Islands. Again, post in the comments where you're tuning in from. If you found this content helpful and you want to stay updated on the weather, you have to hit subscribe. Please do that. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys for hitting that subscribe button. Be safe if you're watching from the Caribbean, and we'll catch you next time.